Update you on Wall Street right now, and uh, it has been a good start to the trading session. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average right now up 491 points, 30,795. The NASDAQ is up 133. S&P 500 is ahead by 56. Melissa Arma, who is the founder of Stock Swoosh, joining us on the line right now. Melissa, great to have you back with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, um, it's been a kind of an interesting week, to say the least. Uh, give us your read on all of this shorting activity and the impact that it's having. Well, there, the market sold off yesterday, but it's recovering today. That's the overall market. We didn't have some good earnings last night on Apple, so that dragged the market down. The market is trying to recover today, but... One of the most talked about stocks in the last 48 hours is this GameStop because many, many active day traders are trading it. And just this morning, Robinhood, which is, which is a firm where people uh, place trades, now has, is not allowing people to take active positions in that stock anymore and also interactive brokers, which is a large uh, brokerage firm. So it's very interesting to see what's going to happen going forward because they want to shut down all the volatility that has happened this week in the GameStop. Uh, let me switch to the, the GDP numbers, which came out earlier today uh, for the fourth quarter. Uh, a little bit below projections, 4.0 gain. Uh, give us your thoughts on that and, and what maybe the expectation should be here in Q1 moving forward. Well, I think it's going to be problematic if you don't have large cities uh, you know, like New York, for example, we're still basically shut down here. If you don't have the commerce in these large cities, I think it's going to be very difficult to have good GDP numbers for 2021. Uh, large cities are hurting. It doesn't, even though people have moved out of the suburbs and are working from home, it doesn't work like that where it spreads out evenly as far as, as GDP numbers go. So I think that is problematic until you get large cities like, like LA, like New York, like Chicago, back up and running and people back in offices and actually working and spending money in these large cities, I think you're going to continue to see GDP numbers that, that don't look so great. Uh, you touched on Apple, uh, and uh, their revenue numbers were were through the roof. But, again, give kind of give us an overview of, of Apple. Well, Apple just made brand-new all-time highs this week. So Apple stock is still very strong, even though the earnings were down. Uh, Apple, again, you know, in this type of environment, people are working from home and they're using their phones and they're using their iPads and they're still using the products and services, but they're not out and about as much in the Wi-Fi. I think when you have an environment right now where people are out of work and they're hurting, not everybody wants to spend $1,000 for a phone. So, you know, a lot of people use Apple, but the products for Apple are still very, very expensive. As far as what I would do today with the stock, would I buy it or would I sell it? I would leave it be. If you're in the stock long, you can let it ride. It's trying to come back this morning. Um, I wouldn't short Apple here, even though it was down on the earnings because people love Apple. Long term, this stock could hit up to 150, which is the next level. It got up to 145 just a couple of days ago, like I said, and made new highs. And you can't forget the market, even though we sell yesterday. Uh, even though we fell, the market is still strong. Again, that doesn't make a lot of sense to people with the number of people that are out of work, but people can't put any money in a savings account and really earn any interest right now. So wealthy people are investing in the market. Wealthy people are investing in long-term stocks uh, and stocks that they see that they can have potential to grow. And that's where they're putting the money right now. So when you have a bullish market and you have a bullish stock like Apple, you don't want to short it. And even though it's down today, if you can ride it out, um, you just ride it out and see where it goes. Melissa, thanks again for your time. All the best. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Melissa Armo, founder of Stock Swoosh.